Okay, boys. Time to get this show on the road. It's time for a grand opening this town will never forget. As the owner, I plan to be coming up the rear, which is a new position for me. Fenmore, you know? of the B&B. &B. Bottoms up. <laughs> this is Tony Baroni with the Paradise Falls Community Report. In today's weather, blue skies, calm waters, another perfect day in Paradise Falls. See the cute one on the left? He had one of those two scoop asses. <laughs> Thought you didn't like men. I like men as long as they keep running by. That's the best way to look at them. Maybe I'll make a carrot cake. You know carrot cake has practically no carrots in it. It just sounds healthy. <laughs> Yvonne? Mm, I don't care. Maybe I'll make a cheesecake. But the solid kind, not the moussey kind. What are you doing? You know what I'm doing. Okay. We don't have to talk about it. I have a meeting. I wonder which way they're running back. Hmm? You do know what I'm doing. See ya. It's my birthday. Not working. And just while you were getting breakfast, I'm putting it away. Mm -hmm. What happened? Oh, well, I, I had more, but I ran into a group of naked men. Wait, one after your strawberries? I felt compelled to share. The rest are for you. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Work. What do you think? It's fantastic. George would have loved it. What do you think? It's okay. We're going to name the road on the north side George Mansfield Drive. I still don't see where you're getting all the money for this. We're um, streamlining the business, selling off the cottages to raise the capital. Well, even 12 cottages isn't going to raise enough money to build it. Even I know that. The cottage sales will just give us the working capital. We have ideas where we're going to get the rest. <laughs> Are you buying this? Oh. I think your father deserves a tribute of some kind, don't you? Something nice to look at. Mm -hmm. You say we stay in bed all day and eat our way through whatever's in the kitchen. <laughs> I can't. I'm late for work. Come on. 
Colin sick. <laughs> Take the day off. I'm the only one on. Well, there's still some berries left. Oh, well. Later on, we'll make smoothies. Did you see that perversion that ran through town this morning? I've been working. What did I miss? Naked men showing it all. Doesn't matter who sees it. I think that you should arrest them. They're at that new B&B. I'll talk to them later. Well, okay, but well, you just tell them that nudity and disrespect is not what Paradise Falls is about. We are about proper family values. Okay. Did you see the streakers this morning? Yes, I did. Not that I enjoyed it. Two coffees down there. Don't sit down. I don't see why we can't still be friends. You waited until I was 18 before you admitted you were my father. Mistakes were made. You can't hate me forever. My mother nearly killed herself because of you. Look, that woman screwed up her own life. Don't blame that mess on me. That mess is important to me. You know, you shouldn't try so hard to look young. It doesn't look good. You look kind of sad. So did you see the boys? The streakers? Oh my God, were they American? They looked American. They're guests staying at that new B&B. I thought it was great. Well, can I get you a muffin? Oh no, no, I shouldn't. No, I'm making a cake tonight. For what? It's my birthday. Happy birthday. It's no big deal. So how old are you? Um, 38, 39? I'm 35. Oh. I figure we're cheating the boy out of his inheritance. We can spend a little on props. How many cottages do we have left to sell? Two. Then we're leaving Paradise Falls? Yes. And as stupid as he is, even Michael will become suspicious when Mansfield Manors never gets built. What do you say? Should we sell the house too? Mm -hmm. Oh, let the boy have it. You're such a softy, Yvonne. That's what I like about you. <laughs> don't. You keep saying that to me, but I don't believe you. Believe me. How come I'm not seeing any new money in the bank account? It's in short-term T-bills, and before you ask, they're in both our names. Mm hmm I want to see those statements. You have such little faith, Yvonne. <laughs> it's not becoming. Uh, now, I'm gonna have to fix my lipstick. about all those naked men. Hmm? You saw them. Well, the next time something like that happens, I want to make sure it's naked women. Oh, it's not funny. You don't think this makes us look bad? It's embarrassing. Now, I'm going to start a petition to get rid of that B&B, &B, and I want you to support me. I'll tell you what. You get a petition, and you get enough people to sign it, I'll take it to the board. I don't like it any more than you. I mean, my grandson's gay. That's fine. But any more than one, though, you got yourself a fucking parade. <laughs> I saw your ad in the Chronicle. Uh, babysitter available, is that you? Um, yeah, <laughs> Rogie Bernini. <laughs> is it your child? No, uh, I don't like kids. They always have sticky hands. It's for one of my guests. I run the B&B. Oh, that, that's right. Um, yes, I, I saw you run by earlier. I hope you got my good side. <laughs> We're having our <laughs> opening launch. Anyway, one of our guests has this kid he wants to dump on me so he can go golfing. Men. <laughs> I'm Sasha, by the way. Are you free this afternoon? Actually, it's my birthday. I was gonna make a cake. Carrot. 
Yes, I'm free. Perfetto. You going for a swim? That's the idea. You should go to the beach past the dog park. It's more private. I could show you. It's okay, I'm going with the Admiral. Uh, no, you're not. He went to the bank. Oh. But I can give you a lift. The beach is a five minute walk. We can go the long way. Deal. You gotta carry my towel, though. You want another drink? You read my mind. I've always wanted to ask you something, Kelly. You waiters, what is it with the shark fin? Tourists like it when the locals humiliate themselves. It makes them feel superior. That's very cute. It's fucking lame, but it gets good tips. Can I buy you a drink? We have drinks here. Where I want to take you for a drink, you don't have to wear a shark fin. Female on the premises. Cover up, boys. We bought the place two months ago. It's taken us forever to open it up. Oh, it's nice. It needs paint desperately. I can't decide. What color goes with the twink? <laughs> he got an ass lift. You can tell. Really? They lift up your glutes with support beams. It's like Lloyd Wright's falling water, but for your ass. Because, you know, I, I feel a little overdressed. Scoop. They're not looking at you. The kid's inside. Oh, wait. Why is it that gay men are always so good looking? Because <laughs> when you're ugly, they stick you on an iceberg and send you to the island of misfit toys. Oh. Yeah. Usually when I uh, come to Sharky's, they comp to me. Sharky's is in Fenmore. This is Sharky's Bistro. This is Paradise Falls. I know. I'm the mayor. I'm surprised you didn't recognize me. I do. But if you want a comp, you're going to have to eat on the other side of the lake. You ever seen uh, mayor's office? No. You want to? You're pretty relentless, aren't you? I know what I want. So do I. One drink. That's all. Get all your friends to sign this. What is it? It's a petition to get rid of that gay B and B. I'm not signing it. Why? Because I thought it was kind of funny this morning. Oh, disgusting. No, it isn't. Oh. Pamela, I want you to sign this petition to close down that B and B. No. You saw them this morning. I'll sign it. Oh. Sorry, can't sign it. Apparently, gay men turned my girlfriend on. <laughs> They were just having fun. Oh, I see. So this whole town's gone soft on queers? Somebody talking about me? You ready to go? Yeah. Where are you two going? We're thinking Paris. Oh, you got a mouth on you, don't you? But then again, that's how you make your money, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's disgusting. <sighs> Francis, there's no smoking in here. It's a marina, not the fucking Vatican. Do you have any real toys you could play with? Any toys I have, you wouldn't want him to play with. Oh, here. Read to him. I think its name is Vin, as in Vin Diesel. Or maybe it's Van, as in Van Johnson. Let's pray for Vin. Oh, no, no, this is a brochure. Uh... The buy the buy in. The buy the buy in is a homo away from home. You know what? Maybe we won't be reading this. I used to like your mother better when she was drinking, she was easier to ignore. This letter's really shitty. I thought Trudy was nice. She's a rich bitch. Typical. Oh, my life is fucking useless. Well, you can go visit her in Hollywood. It's a brush off. She keeps talking about Melissa Ann. Some candy ass friend of hers. Whatever. 
Besides, I got my own dates. Who are you seeing tonight? <laughs> Business dates. You're still doing that? You know, it's not safe to have sex with strangers. I don't need another mother, thank you. My name's not Melissa Ann. I don't live in fucking L.A. You do what you do. Don't you have work to do? No point. Every time I do something, the Admiral redoes it. I don't know how you can hang out with me. Well, we don't hang out very much. You better close your mouth, you're gonna burn your tongue. How about you rub me with some sunblock? Oh. Don't forget my lower back, hon. I don't want to burn. Oh. Uh, sorry about that. That's okay. I get that reaction from a lot of guys. What do you say? I've got gin, vodka, scotch. Wine. I thought you were going to buy me a drink. I never pay for booze. It's one of the perks of the trade. How long have you been mayor of Paradise Falls? 30 years. That's older than me. I was a boy mayor that had to help me up into the chair. Kind of like what they do now. What's this? Oh, that. That's a uh, casino event we're having next weekend. It's a charity to raise money for the Paradise Falls Historical Society. How old are you? Whatever you think, less 10 years. Mm. I was gonna say late 40s. Oh, you pegged me in one. This casino thing looks like fun. Are they hiring people? Oh, I could pull a few favors if you're interested. Uh, do you like gambling? I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> I'll tell you one thing about a casino. Eventually, the house always wins. Yeah, he just got back. Twelve holes. Nine on the course, three in the locker room. He was my kid. I couldn't leave him for so long. Kids sense these things, you know. Causes real damage. <laughs> Kid'll probably turn out gay. <laughs> Lord knows I don't need the competition. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any big plans? What are you gonna do now? Um, you know there's some inventory that needs to be put away at the store. Birthdays aren't really that big of a deal in my family. Sana, why don't you make us a drink? Do you want a beer? I want a martini, vodka, breath of vermouth, shake with some ice, drain, two olives. How about a beer? <laughs> don't worry, it's more about the glass than the drink. Hello? No, Rose, I'm not coming home yet. I don't know, a couple hours. It's not important, is it? <sighs> Fine. I always liked that George built a sauna. Why don't you come with me? Bet we could both use one. Excuse me. Uh, can you tell me who the owner of this establishment is, oh. please? <laughs> Let's leave a nice police officer alone. Oh. <laughs> is he your child? No, he's with one of our guests. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, could you bring little Vin to his daddy? Sure. <sighs> Do you like kids? They're okay. I have a boy of my own. I know why you're here. I realized that what we did this morning was probably not completely within the law. No, you can't have your guests running naked through town. It was our opening. We wanted to do something spectacular. It won't happen again. You should know, this is a very respectable establishment. We uphold the... Uh, Scoot. <laughs> Sorry. Can I offer you a mimosa? Uh, no, no, thank you.
What are you doing? We're having a drink. Didn't your father ever tell you to keep away from his property? Rose? I need you to sign this petition. It's that new B&B. Oh, yeah, I went up there. It's, uh, it, it's nice. Rose, they're all gay. So I don't care if someone's gay, Franny. You don't care that they're running around naked. Oh, Christ. No one in this fucking town has any morals. You just want them to be here so they'll buy your clothes. Franny, that's just plain ignorance. Whatever. I thought the boy put too much vermouth in them. I thought we could uh, share a drink together. I'm not thirsty. Yvonne. You were supposed to distract him, not fuck him. I'm doing what we said. Let me go. Don't touch me. I said no. Don't. No! Oh! Oh! I'm all fucking kill you. Somewhere in the morning mist, all the world begins with someone's kiss. Thunders no one else has seen. Inside a place where no one's been. 